Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Today, we're chasing a hot new coin that just launched their mainnet today. We're bringing it back to basics, back to the origin, back to the humble beginnings of the Boss Coin channel, and that's GPU mining. We're chasing a coin that just launched their mainnet today. So I'm turning this content around for you as fast as I can. I'm creating a written guide to also supplement it that'll be easier to update because once I shoot this video and upload this video, I'm not able to edit it. That's the way YouTube works. However, since I'm making a written guide, I'm going to be able to add some pieces in as time goes on. I'm not saying that I'm going to do it unless the interest is there. So tell me in the comment section below if you want me to do that. Also, more importantly, put your beam address as a comment on this video description below because we have a super awesome donor who is gonna be dishing out some beam today, okay? So people are feeling generous. Drop your address and maybe, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. I'll have links to everything I'm using in this video in the video description below. Right now, I'm using the TriMiner if you guys have been following the channel for a while. Actually, last January that basically came out, which is crazy, that was a year ago. Time flies. I've got two 1070 Ti's hooked up, up there, and then I've also got three 1070 Ti's over here, and I've got a couple more 1070 Ti's I'm gonna to look to add, um, but I've just been testing some different things, testing some different pools, testing some different configurations to try to bring you guys the best info I can this early. Again, you know, day, day one, this launched at the time of me shooting this less than 12 hours ago. To give you a baseline to reference, this is the Mimble Wimble mining algorithm, okay? GrinCoin has been pioneering this for a long time, and Beam has just implemented it and launched it along with their mainnet launching. Mimble Wimble on GrinCoin will be launching in the middle of January. I'll have a video on that uh, when that time comes. But what's interesting about Mimble Wimble, it, you know, it's some people don't think so, but as of right now, it is ASIC resistance. And that was one of the goals behind Mimble Wimble. And just to give you a frame of reference, this is based off Equihash. So we're going to be using souls, not hashes. You're going to be using familiar overclock settings that you would have used on Equihash and GPU mining days, which we've covered extensively here on the channel. Also, as far as mining pools go, again, it's day one. I haven't had a ton of time to test different mining pools. So today is all going to be centered around one mining pool. I don't want any kind of crying about centralizing the hash rate or anything like that. You're more than welcome to try out other pools. But there have been some pools, such as B Pool, which is apparently mining the wrong version of Beam, aka these people that are on their pool mining Beam will never get paid. So you may want to stick with the guide until some more things come out. Just my opinion, my two cents there, right? And finally, I wasn't paid for this, okay? I wasn't. I received nothing for this. This is how I spent my day today. Just in the trenches, the GPU mining trenches, trying to figure this out and make it happen and be there mining a coin day one. Isn't that your dream as a GPU miner? Imagine if you were there day one of Ethereum. You'd probably be pretty happy, even with today's prices. Enough of the nonsense though, let's jump into the video. Today is gonna to be all about mining, beam, and a little brief synopsis of what it is. But again, this is about mining. You know, things are rough, they just launched. We're gonna, I'm gonna break it down the best I can for you and get you hashing away there with me. Let's do it. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. Everything I talk about, I'm gonna link out into the video description below. I haven't completed the written guide, but I will complete that and have a link to it in the video description when this video goes live. I'm also going to have a download link that I haven't created yet, but it will be ready by the time this video is posted on YouTube, and you'll be able to download the miner pre-configured to the mining pool I'm using and all you're gonna do is change the address to yours in it. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so step one, you're gonna need a Beam wallet. You're gonna need a Beam address. And there's a little bit of uh, negative emotion that they had said that they were gonna bake the GPU miner into the wallet, but that did not happen. So uh, you will see that it includes a CPU miner node, but in my opinion, you'll be wasting your time CPU mining on this coin already. Even though it just launched today, it's you know GPU-based coin, and the GPUs quickly outclassed the CPU and essentially made it obsolete on this Beam coin. And again, in my opinion, um, you may have trouble with the node with the built-in CPU and GPU miner. Uh, what I'll link out to is going to make this real easy for you guys. Um, other than that, you just need to have your rig ready to go. I have a ton of rig builds here on the channel, and obviously you want to have an NVIDIA driver installed, and you may need to increase your virtual memory. That's an optional step because you may or may not need to do that. So if you're not getting the hash rate that you want, try to do that. I'll have a link directly to that in the video description below. However, before we get to mining, you need an address. The Beam wallet is nice. Uh, it's a pretty nice implementation to have on a mainnet launch day. So that's very cool 
to see. Um, what you'll do is you'll you'll go through install and you'll get a, a private seed. It's going to be 12 characters. Write that down. Store it in a secure place. We keep ours in a fireproof vault. Maybe. I don't want to tell you the exact location, right? And at that point, you will get a default address. You're going to want to make a new address that does not expire. This is pretty important. Uh, unless you want to be changing your address all the time, which you probably don't. You're going to come in here and you're going to click on never expires. You can name it. So for example, this I'll just name this one YouTube and I'll get this address right here. And I'll just go ahead and copy right here. Again, nice little features built into this. Uh, I'm, I've been happy um, with the way that they polish this stuff so far being such a such an early day in its life. Again, they just launched their main net. Many, many uh, projects don't launch with good builds on things on, you know, their, their first day, which I always find odd. Uh, but as you can see right there, I'm going to have an expiration date of never when it was created. Again, this launched at just 11 a.m. today, um, Eastern Standard Time. And this was my second build out of this wallet on a different computer. So now that you've got that, you've really got all that you need. You can sync your CPU up to mine if you would like to do so. I guess I still had it on too over there um, from earlier testing, but you can sync your CPU up if you want to, but in my opinion, you're going to be wasting your time and electricity. So that's not what I'm going to recommend. Uh, this is just going to be basically your transaction history right here. You can see we're at block height 672. So just think, you can still get in on this when it's less than a thousand blocks. That's pretty exciting. Don't say I never gave you guys the heads up. I'm team viewing right into the miner. This would be the try miner. Um, and as far as what I'm talking about, the download link, it'll get you exactly this. You have 9.0 and 10.0. I was having a little bit of issues with 10.0, so I went back to 9. Um, it's going to have a start.bat file. You can just click on it, and you're going to click edit. At that point, you're going to see the beam CUDA miner.exe. That's going to be our mining software. Then we're going to have the server. I'm going to be using the beam eu sparkpool.com colon 222 which again i'm in the u.s i'm using the europe server because that's the closest one to me there's also an asian one if you want uh but at this stage of the game you're probably just good connecting to any server and then you can go ahead and replace my address with yours and i would click save or control s and then i'm good to go i don't want to save because i have that one right there uh, at that point you will just double click it and it'll start and this is what it looks like after it's been running as you can see I'm running two 1070 TI's on this rig for demonstration you can see my average power consumption I would say averages about 125 watts and 100% usage uh, configured with MSI Afterburner. If you don't have this, I'll have a link to download it in the video description like everything else, like I've already said 20 times. Remember, this is an Mibblewimble is based off of Equihash, so keep those kind of overclock figures in mind. I'm just running a semi-conservative plus 100 core, plus 500 memory. I bumped the fan speed up to 70. Uh, this is running in the garage. It's winter here, so it's kind of cool. And, uh, I mean, you can see the cards are running at great temps, 50 Celsius and 65 Celsius. And they're not even on risers. They're right on the board right next to each other. This is going to be at power limit 100. Just for reference there, you can see on average, I'm averaging like almost exactly 10 souls per second. You aren't going to get the souls that you're thinking about as far as Equihash. Uh, so just ditch those numbers. They're irrelevant. You need to figure out what kind of souls are possible on this algorithm. I've only tested 1070 Ti's on Mimblewimble so far. However, a ton of people are throwing 1080 Ti's at it. And on average, you'll probably see somewhere around 15 souls per second, just for reference. So, you know, see, I've got this car, which you can get used on eBay for $300 doing about 10 souls per second. Whereas you get a 1080 Ti, if you go use prices, maybe around 500 bucks, you get into 15 souls per second. You can run the numbers, bang for buck. This isn't, that's not exactly what today's video is about, but basically, um, you know, you see the performance value there is relative. The watt consumption can be fine tuned, but some people are, you know, having their 1080 Ti's consume between like 180 and 200 watts on this algorithm. So here's one of the kickers. When it comes to these videos, a lot of people like to talk profitability, what's it make, you know, is it worth it, am I going to get rich mining this, and so forth. Well, this coin launched today. There's no associated value. I'm not here to speculate on value today. I'm a doge dad, not your dad when it comes to financial advice. But what I do want to say is that, I mean, just think about it. If you were there day one mining a project, how bad could you have done? 
again, that's just my opinion. Worst case scenario, you throw your rigs at it for a couple days, a week, and it doesn't work out. Best, best case scenario, you make a killing. Think about all the people who made a killing mining Ethereum and if they held a long time. Or the people who made a killing mining Ravencoin in the beginning there. Um, just some things to reference. You can see I've got two 1070 Ti's. I've changed the address a couple times and uh, rebooted the miner over here. But you can see basically I've been mining for about three hours you know per the pool here so in about three hours i mine about 0.4 beam so three times eight is going to be 24 that's going to be 24 hours in a day so we can go ahead and take 0.4 times that by eight and that would compute that would probably mine about 3.2 beam in one day which is a little bit under the calculation that they're giving us here again this is just pool estimated on a brand new coin Take, an, take everything with a grain of salt here. Um, and, you know, if I've got two 1070 TIs, and this may be optimistic, but you can run the numbers and see what you think is realistic, beam going towards a dollar a coin, well, that'd be about a dollar fifty per 1070 TI um, on this algorithm. Again, that's just a really rough number, huge speculation there. I want you to form your own conclusions. And I know that doesn't sound like crazy money, but compared to the other options that are mineable today, which pretty much just lose money, uh, that sounds pretty freaking awesome to me. And that's really it, guys. There's not much else to it. Like I said uh, in the beginning of this video, this isn't a super in-depth guide to Beam and if you should become a long-term hodler or anything like that. This is a day one launch day. Don't say I didn't invite you to the party day one to Beam Mining. Okay, this is a very basic, straightforward guide. Uh, I have not implemented any Linux builds of this. Um, Greer so in our Discord, uh, awesome community. If you're not a part of it, you should really join. Uh, he's working on an implementation to add it to SMOS. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. He says he pretty much has it done. No pressure, Greer so. Uh, but uh, again, check in the Discord if you want to add it that way. If you want to use a Windows build, well, here is the guide. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up on the video. Please leave a comment, drop that beam address, and uh, let me know if you guys like this video, if you want to see more like this. I mean, this this is taking it back to the basics. This is what, you know, where it all began. And now there's finally some exciting news on GPU mining. So I'm all for it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. you